The previous video in this playlist introduced axioms. Please ensure you have watched this first before you carry on with this particular video. The last video ended by looking at the following axiom, that is A and 0 will always give a 0. And just to remind you, A is the variable and 0 here is the constant as you can see labelled in red. Following this you can see there are some examples of axioms and what we're going to do we're going to work on each of these and show in fact what they give. Let's have a look at the first example we have a ended with not a. Now let us make a equal to zero therefore we have not a being the opposite which must be one therefore we can carry on and say that a and not a is therefore zero and one which gives us a zero. Let's now let a equal 1, therefore not a will be the opposite as a zero. Consequently, a and not a will be 1 and 0, which still gives 0. Now let's have a look. When a was a 0, we got a 0 at the output. And when a was a 1, we got a 0 at the output. Therefore, we can conclude that a and not a will always give us a 0. And this is an example of an axiom. Let's look at the second example, which is a and 1. Now let's make a 0. Therefore, we can say a and 1 is 0 and 1, which gives us a 0. Let's make a, this time, a 1. Therefore, a and 1 will be 1 and 1, which, when we and, gives us a 1. Now, when we look at this, we can say that when a was a 0, the result was a 0, and when a was a 1, the result was a 1. Therefore, the result, if you look closely, is whatever a is. Consequently, a and 1 will always give whatever a is, and this is an example of an axiom. Let's have a look at the next example, where we have a and a. Now, let's let a equal 0, therefore we have a and a equaling 0 and 0, which obviously gives us a 0 when we're adding two zeros. Now we can see we've got a is 1, therefore a and a is 1 and 1, which gives us a 1. And we can see that when a was a 0, the result was a 0, and when a was a 1, the result was a 1. Therefore we can conclude that a and a will always give us a. And this is another example of an axiom. Let's look at the next example, which is a or a. Let's make a equal to a zero. Therefore, a or a becomes a zero or a zero, which gives the result of a zero. Let a equal one. Therefore, a or a is one or one, which gives 1. Now we can see that when a was a 0, we got a result of 0, and when a was a 1, we've got a result of 1. Therefore, we can conclude that a or a will always give the result of a. Here we can see another axiom. Let's look at the next example, a or 1. Let a equal a 0, and therefore we will have a or 1 being 0 or 1, which gives us a result of 1. Let a equal 1. Therefore, a or 1 will become 1 or 1, giving us a result of 1. Now, when a is a 0, we can say the result is a 1. And when a is a 1, the result is a 1. The output is always a 1, regardless as to the value of a. Therefore, a or 1 always gives a 1. And this is another example of an axiom. Let's look at the next example, which is a or 0. Let a equal a 0, therefore a or 0 becomes 0 or 0, which gives a 0. Now let's a equal 1, therefore a or 0 becomes 1 or 0, which gives a result of 1. 
Now when a was a 0, we can say that the result was a 0, and when a was a 1, the result is a 1. The result is always the same as a. Therefore, a or 0 always gives a. And this is another example of an axiom. Let's look at the next example. Here I've got a odd with not a. And I'm going to let a equal a 0. Therefore, the not a will be the opposite at a 1. Therefore, when we write out a or not a, that is a 0 or a 1, which gives us a 1. Now I'm going to choose a to be a 1. Therefore, not a will be the opposite. It will be a 0. Therefore, a or not a becomes 1 or 0, which gives me a 1. Now, when a was a 0, the result was a 1. And when a was a 1, the result was a 1. The result is always a 1, regardless as to the value of a. Therefore, a or not a will always give us a 1. And this is another example of an axiom. In fact, this is a very useful axiom, as we will see in later videos.